Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I wanted to try out a new product that I just got. Um, I ordered it on the day it came out and then was hoping that I'd be able to get it and it wasn't sold out. So the product that I'm going to be trying out is this one. This is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is his new Magic Star Concealer. So this is the packaging. I wanted to try it out on camera with you guys, see how it goes. Um, obviously I did it online so I don't know the color if it's correct. So we are going to go ahead and try it on today and show you how it looks. So if you guys want to see my thoughts on the Magic Star Concealer, then just keep on watching. Alrighty, so we are going to go ahead and jump in. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the concealer and then I'll go ahead and um, try it on the face. But this is actually the packaging from the outside. It does have like some like um, holographic kind of thing on the box, which is really cool. So I got this shade C10. Now C10 is actually um, medium skin with olive undertones. So I wanted to try the C10, see how that works on the skin. Um, I don't like super brightening um, concealers. Besides the shade, it does have a little bit of information. I'm going to read it off my phone. But um, it's a unique creamy high coverage liquid concealer formula and comes in over 30 shades. So they do have 30 shades and then they also have some that are color correcting. They do have, I believe, the peach and the green one and they also have like a white one if you just wanted that one. Um, but it claims to help even out skin tone. It has 20% pigment and can cover tattoos. It has anti-aging properties, help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Increased wear time and self setting effect keeps you looking flawless for hours. It's fragrance free, paraben free, and talc free. And it retails for $22. That's basically all the information about the product itself. Um, so I went ahead and took it out of the box, and this is what the concealer looks like. Hopefully, you guys see the details, but it's super cute. It's very different, like the tube itself. It's um, it has like unique kind of like ridges and then this like jewel will appear along with the star ray on the top it's a really nice it's really nice details so it's giving me like a lot of sailor moon vibes so what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up and the applicator looks like this it does have like a hole on the middle. That's kind of where the concealer um, goes and it's just easier to apply. So I'm gonna do a swatch on my hand just to show you guys. And by the looks of this, it's kind of light. I mean, everything looks different on the screen like when you're doing online than actually in person and I don't have a store like really close to me to actually go and like check out the shades um so that's what the that's what the shade is looking like so I kind of see um maybe very little olive undertones I'm not sure I kind of do see some pink almost like a neutral kind of undertone of this I'm not sure how that would look under the eyes, but um, that's what we're going to do. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do my primer and my foundation, and I'll be right back to um, put this on. Primer and foundation are on, so now we're going to go ahead and jump into the concealer and hope that it works good. So um, I'm going to try and like just clean it off as much as I can just to apply a little bit, like do little by little, I guess, if I need it. But I just wanna see how it like goes on and the shade, obviously. I'm gonna go for it and hope this works out. And I'm gonna be using the same sponge that I used to put on my foundation. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in. So I went ahead and just applied it like that and then I'm just going to go in and blend it out. Um, and my sponge is damp already since I used it for foundation. So I'm going to try and blend this out and see how it blends out and how it ends up looking uh, because it does look 
quite like light on me. So let's check it out. the concealer blended out as you guys can see it's pretty light i did bring it up to my eyelids just a little bit just whatever was left over like on the sponge um so you guys can see the difference between just regular no concealer just foundation and this side with the concealer like i mentioned i really don't like brightening like really brightening concealers and i think this is what this one is doing it's like really brighten it up i'm not sure with the rest of my makeup um if it's still gonna look as brightening or if it's gonna like kind of not be as brightening i guess um but um i mean i guess it's not too bad i'm not sure i just have to finish everything else and see how it looks i'll be back in a few minutes after you know i do this this other eye and i do my full face of makeup uh, i don't think i'm gonna do too much but i want to see how it looks and it ties all together with the makeup and see if it still looks as brightening as it does right now or if it just kind of is fine and it just blends out with everything else on my face so i will see you guys in a few minutes hey guys okay so i am back after finishing up my full face of makeup and this is what it looks like so let's jump into my thoughts about the concealer i'm not sure if you guys can see if it's still brightening or not um i actually did not set my under eyes with any powder or anything so i just wanted to see how this would react without setting it and see if that would do any changes as far as looking different um on my skin it wasn't tacky or anything so that's cool and then also like as far as creasing there's really no creasing i mean i think um there's always going to be some type of creasing with the concealer but it really hasn't done any creasing especially since i have not set it with any powder um so like it's pretty cool i mean like i said i'm i'm not a really big fan of really brightening concealers and i think at first that's how it seemed like really brightening but after all like doing everything else i think it just kind of blended with everything else and it doesn't look as brightening as it was when i first started um so overall i think this is really awesome i mean this is the first time that he's done any concealers and i'm very impressed now he also came out with the setting powder but i did not pick that one up i just wanted to check out the concealer and see how it works i think i probably still want to do a more like natural kind of looking concealer uh, because this one was really brightening so I wouldn't be able to spot conceal with this because it's too light especially right now during the summer so um, yeah I would definitely pick this up if you guys are interested I think the pricing is good um, comparing to like a Tarte concealer or a Smashbox or Urban Decay they kind of range around the same price um, and then 30 different shades that you can pick from and um, if you go onto the website there's like it shows you the undertones and everything so I think maybe for the next one I probably maybe do a yellow undertone or like a golden um, but again I would like to see it in store just to see how it looks that way I have a better idea I really like the consistency the formula it's not thick and it almost feels like hydrating and it's not like drying on the eyes so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful um, with me trying out the concealer so if you guys want to try it out go check it out and that is it for today don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends and I will see you guys for the next one bye guys